What is going on, you guys? It is your boy MC here. Last episode, what honestly can I say about the last episode? Last episode was one of the best micro episodes of all time. I will literally say that now. It is definitely one of the top episodes in this entire season. Just even still even thinking about it, it's so close to the Bakugo episode, just on least what it means. The animation, obviously Nakamura was in the prime example of the beginning of that episode with Ida's animation, with Todoroki's animation, everything else that happened. It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. And now we are here with the second to last episode of My Hero Academia for this season. We have Toga versus Uraraka. I don't really know what to expect with this. I have no idea how their fight is going to go. There has been so much buildup between these two characters for seasons now to lead up to this point. I only wonder what the hell is going to happen. So I'm not even going to talk anymore. I'm going to get straight into this episode. So we're going to see what else is going to happen in here. And we will save the talk for the end of this episode. So guys, without any further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, and you guys like my reaction, like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you guys, when you notify and release those videos, make sure to smash that notification bell. But with that being said, let's get right into the episode. This score again, this score has been so prominent with the Todoroki family. <laughs> insane. Absolutely insane. The whole imagery with him freezing the whole thing and then just it evaporating was nuts. Just evaporating. Just look at the freaking place, man. Look at the field. This could be Toga's big moment in this show. <laughs> he was he was doing more than laughing, not even laughing. Damn. They got everybody. A girl's ego. They're not going to be able to keep up with them. They're going to have to realize that. Even though they're just going to still keep fighting. They're not going to completely eradicate them. They're not. They're just going to keep coming. This twice is they, this this all these clones could be probably double or triple a population, maybe even more. Oh my lord, they can see that from there. Holy shit. Baraka trying to do everything she can. Oh, God. That's what she probably thinks. Oh. That is her goal, at least. To at least get to Toga. Exactly how she's feeling. Hmm. I feel like she's right. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, damn. Bullshit. <laughs> ah, here we go. The abuse from her parents, yep. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Let's correct this behavior. Damn. 
して消していきましょう。Straighten around and get rid of it. やだもう。<笑>よーしよし。<笑> What is going through her mind? ちゃんの顔怖いやめなさい何をしてるの今まで異常者だ。Well, it's just everything else that she's looking around. The fact that she will never be normal at all. And it's the fact of what she has. It's her quirk. She can't help that. You see where she is coming from. You, you, you see it. It's sad. At the core, it is really sad. Oh, curious. Mm -hmm. Other than yourself, not your true self. Oh my god! Oh shit. She was very close. There goes Froppy and shit. Oh man, that was so close. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, god damn, now she's starting to make clones of her now? Oh, no. Oh, no! This is what Hawks wanted to avoid. This is everything that Hawks wanted to avoid. Sweeping through them like a damn wave. Dude, the imagery. Holy shit. She's worrying about helping you, yeah. He's trying to talk to her. My god. She still cares. Took it. Oh, my God. Here's just the start. Stabbed in the freaking. Oh, my God. You just hear, you hear the voice acting too. It's way different than we've ever seen. Oh my god. That is true. You should make one. <laughs> uh, I, miss, I miss the original League. As Himiko Toga. Because that's who she is. Oh shit. God damn. Oh, it's wearing off. Wow. Legion. This is not going to work out for anybody right now. I don't know what's about to happen. I never expected Toga to be such a big, big player in this part of the war. Just look at the amount. Oh, still has fight. We all know that. There's a power used to hurt others. Yeah. Ugh. I never feel happy about dropping someone. Ah. He's using too much. 
Sorry, cry. That last, last season. Yeah, because <laughs> her first impressions are everything. She didn't understand her. She she didn't up in that point, up to that point. It's getting to her too. Oh my god. This animation's kind of popping off a little bit. It's hard to even... Whoa! Holy shit, what did she just tap into? She had an awakening. <laughs> she had a quirk awaken right there. She's losing. She she's lost so much blood up until this point. Oh. The score is very nice too. There's more to them. It was more. It was way more. We've seen that before too. Wow, she confessed finally. It's about damn time. Damn. she gonna do it is she whoa wow she stopped herself she was this close to doing it Finally being able to express. Mm -hmm. Damn, he looks exactly like him. <laughs> We've seen that before with another character. Look at the scenery, man. Go ho wow. All that. Wow. I want to say now, this is one of the most beautiful episodes I've ever seen in this show. It's visually beautiful. <laughs> wow. 
for the episode that has to be wow sorry guys my camera cut right there when i was literally giving my outro kind of a little bit to the episode but i am here now to talk about this episode my god let me just say number one because it was very very tough at least for me to read the subtitles for how the animation was doing like the animation and just everything that was going on for the very last half of that episode it was so visually telling i think that whoever edited this episode or just animated this episode did a beautiful job like a lot of the visual elements for this episode every time uraraka would like almost in the instance didn't touch all the twices all of her power spread out to all of them and they were all rising and floating and everything jiro sue everybody else that was there all floating as well it was a visually beautiful scene it was very very beautiful and speaking of beautiful i'd say the dialogue and the banter between both of them both toga and uraraka everything that they've led to up to this point and finally having that understanding between each other where obviously it is toga she's on she's had a lot of learning up to this point on how she views the world and just everything that she's went through but this was also a number one big learning thing with uraraka as well understanding the character and understanding the person himiko toga on what she has been through and why she does what she does it's beautiful to see now and the entire scene when they were little kids and when they were looking at each other and just the amount of tension that was going on i was on the edge of my seat i didn't know what the hell was going to happen i initially thought that maybe maybe there was a possible chance that toga maybe was going to kill uraraka but i still had a feeling that she wasn't going to go through with it but the imagery where she is looking at a young uraraka was eerie as hell and i'm so glad that it didn't go through with it like my god it was just so so intense in that moment and it's so fulfilling now that these two characters i don't know what the future is going to be make, like going to make of both of these two i have no idea because there's just so much that we've still yet to uncover and still whatever the hell else is going to happen in this arc and for the rest of the series i don't know obviously i know probably toga and also maybe even obviously toya as well dobby will go into custody eventually at the end of this war and they're probably going to go to tartarus or whatever the hell else but the main thing in the next episode and it is the final episode man i know i and i could just say it right now even though maybe the show wants to surprise me i don't really know but i don't think we will get anything with bakugo I'm kind of maybe thinking about it up, up until this point because we've had so much that has happened since Bakugo tragically died back all the way in the episodes ago. I don't really think we're going to get anything in the season finale. There's one thing that I do know, and it's the thing that everybody's been waiting for. It is the return of All Might and All Might versus All for One. I don't know how that fight's going to go. I don't know how it's going to look visually. I don't know what All Might's going to have to do and what he's going to be wearing. I know he's going to be wearing some sort of suit or some sort of armor in order for him to fight all for one. I just don't know what's going to happen. And that is the beauty and joy of it. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next week. I hopefully can anticipate next week's episode to have that endeavor and high-end type animation and feel and just all of that because we have not seen these two fight since their big fight back in season three. I really want to know how this is going to compare to it. And still, I don't think, obviously, this is going to overtop the United States of Smash moment. Like, that's that's easily top five moment in the show. Like, nobody can tell me otherwise. That is top five. But the fact that we're going to be getting All Might, who doesn't have one for all anymore, still be able to fight all for one when literally no one else is here. No one else can do it other than Deku, but he's occupied with Shigaraki. All Might is the last resort. And him being here right now, about to fight freaking all for one. It's going to be one hell of a spectacle next week. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. But overall, this episode was really, really good. Probably one of the top episodes in the entire season. Just for what happened in here. The symbolism in here. Just almost kind of like last week where it's really a conclusion for these characters. Like the Todoroki family had their conclusion last episode. Now, this is kind of their conclusion for episodes. And not even episodes, seasons 
all the way dating back to season three, it is very, very sad. Like no one else, and even I know people don't like Toga. Like, I mean, with me, she's not my favorite character in the show, obviously, but you can understand where she is coming from. You can understand everything that she's been through with having to be kind of put down and try to be normalized when obviously that's never gonna happen because that's the quirk that she was born with and how she was saying to her parents and everything which thought she was a freaking loose case and freaking like a menace to society and shit. She was asking, oh, why can't everybody else suck blood? Like, why can't everybody else be like me? Why do I have to be different from everybody else and treated this way? Because she never asked for this. She was born like this. She has never had a person that has understood her and actually not even only understood, but has wanted to get to finally know who she actually is and why she does what she does. So I think that was the entire reason for this episode. I really, really liked it. And I just only wonder what's going to happen between these two. That's all I can really say. Guys, next week it is the very last episode of My Hero Academia Season 7. The next year, Season 8 will happen. The final season. It's going to be something special. And it is going to be freaking heartbreaking. It really, really is. But that is going to be another talk for another day. I will probably say more. Maybe at least when I make probably my end of the year discussion stream or whatever I do. There's a lot. There's a lot that I want to talk about. Even up for this season, this season has had a lot of moments. Is it better than season six? I'll eventually get into it when the time comes. But thank you guys for watching my reaction. If you guys are excited for the rest of My Hero Academia and you guys like the channel, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi and I am out.